empty-armed Madonna, mourning the baby that she couldn't have and the baby that she almost got to adopt. Gone now. That is it, isn't it? Oh, you miserable... I remember watching that in bed with my mommy, and that was a clip from Dynasty in which Linda Evans lets Joan Collins have it in the most popular catfight ever on television. And ever since her dazzling breakout performance as Audra Barkley in television's The Big Valley, gorgeous and gracious Golden Globe Award winner Linda Evans has been collecting recipes from world-renowned chefs, celebrities, and friends. And now in her book, Recipes for Life, My Memories, Linda candidly dishes stories of growing up among Hollywood's royal and shares her favorite recipes and is joining us this morning from New York City. Hi, Linda. So good to have you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be there with you. <laughs> you still look beautiful. I don't know what your secret is, but my goodness, you just are gorgeous. You're very sweet, very sweet. I think they did some lighting <laughs> today or something. Well, you know, Linda, you were a sensation in Big Valley as the daughter of Victoria Barkley, played by the legendary Barbara Stanwyck. And you say she was an inspiration to you and a recipe contributor. So can you tell us how she inspired you and what recipe she shared? Well, <clears throat> I'm... When we were doing Big Valley, we used to go out to this restaurant called Chasen's. Mm. And it was a famous restaurant that Elizabeth Taylor used to get chili from when she was on location doing Cleopatra. Uh. And uh, we went there all the time. And um, her favorite thing to have there was a thing called hobo steak. And the, the restaurant no longer exists. But I managed to replicate it, only add some herbs that I love. Over the years, I played with it and mm. I found, I think, bettered the recipe. <laughs> and so I, I put it in in her honor. I love it. Well, you know, you've lived and played among Hollywood royalty, as I mentioned. Can you share some of your favorite Hollywood memories? You must have so many goodies. Oh my goodness, I, that's what this entire book is about, mm -hmm. all my memories um, over the years. But goodness, I loved working with Steve McQueen. I loved working with Kenny Rogers on The Gambler. I oh, tell yeah. stories. I mean, Steve McQueen, when I came in to see him, he, he opened the door and said, you're wrong for the part. Well, I don't know why you're here. And then ended up giving me the part. Unbelievable. Uh, which was great. Um, yeah, I got Big Valley because I was up for a movie that the producers were doing and they said it was the worst reading they'd ever read in their lives and the director, as I was running out the door, said, but you have a quality, come back in the oh room. Oh my gosh. And I came back and got the Big Valley. See, and, and that's really right. how it happens. It's it's those unexpected moments. And, and speaking of unexpected, I mean, you were married to right. director John Derrick, as many of us know, and you did the unimaginable when you shared a house with one of his other ex-wives, Ursula Andress. And, you know, I'm sure some of our viewers are saying, wait, what? What are you talking about? So can you tell us how that came about? It's such a great story. Well, um, firstly, that I became friends with them just shocks everybody. <laughs> but um, that's in the book. And you can read about that in the book, how yeah. that happened, especially yeah. Bo after he left me for Bo. Uh. But Ursula and I, and she ended up staying at my house because she was going to have a baby. And she was... Uh, very at the end of her pregnancy and the doctors said that she shouldn't go up the stairs where she lived it mm. was so steep and I said well come be with me and so she moved in with me and her uh, boyfriend at the time Harry Hamlin was away doing a movie and uh, she stayed with me and I ended up going to the hospital with her when she had her baby it was Unbelievable. the best oh, and of course we can read more details this is a little just a little teaser of some of the great details that we can read in the book and I have to of course ask you about Dynasty I was a huge fan of the show and of Crystal herself. So how did Crystal Carrington impact your life? I would imagine that she's a big part of who you are too. Well, I mean, getting that part changed my life, period, mm -hmm. um, forever. Um, I'm thrilled that I was able to play Crystal because I can go around the world and everybody goes, hey, Crystal, hi. You know? <laughs> um, it's nice playing the good guy. The good guy is a really good part to play. Everyone feels like they're friends, and so I get to just yeah. be friends and family with everybody everywhere. That's wonderful. Well, can you tell us a little bit more about Recipes for Life, my memories? Of course, besides Miss Stanwyck, who you have collected recipes from, there's a lot more in there. So tell us a little bit about it and where we can find the book. 
Well, firstly, I think it's a great Christmas gift because yeah. I, if you didn't even like to cook, mm -hmm. you could just read the book. It is very entertaining. I'm very thrilled with how it, it turned out. Aww. But I have these recipes, too, that I've collected over the years. I mean, I tell you, to get a great recipe, it can take years sometimes sure. to get one. And I have shared so many fabulous recipes and my own personal collection mm. of uh, photos that I went through that took me a couple of years to get permissions and to be able to put I in that so that you have photos with with them but you know I flew with the Blue Angels I got bitten in Circus of the Stars by that <laughs> leopard and the leopard in the act you know I mean I've got Amazing. lots of stuff going on in, in this book and where can we get it Linda you, you just won't be bored where can we find it? Well, you can go to lindaevansofficial.com, and lindaevansofficial.com tells you all the, the stores that have it. The Amazon's got lots of people have it. Oh, perfect. Barnes & Noble has it. I, well, I mean, they It's a perfect it. hol holiday gift and beyond the holiday, a great way to start the new year with a little juicy book about an amazing life. Thank you so much, Linda, for joining us today, and happy holidays to you. Uh, thank you very much. Happy holidays to you, too. Continued success, and we'll be right back.